In today's video, I'm joined by my nephew, Landon. And we're gonna be doing something a little bit different than my typical videos. We're actually gonna be building a nano coaster. Which nano coaster, Landon? We are gonna be building Orion from King's Island. <laughs> Welcome back to another video guys and as always thank you for tuning in i hope you guys are having a great day because today we're actually building a nano coaster for the first time on the channel it's actually landon's gift that he received and he's actually a big roller coaster enthusiast which is why we gave him this gift well he got two of them and one of them was from me one of them was from someone else this particular one that we're building is actually from someone else but i'm gonna let him give you some facts about the roller coaster as well as the gift Hello, I am Landon, Eddie's nephew, and before we start building this nano coaster, I'm going to tell you a little bit of interesting fact about this real life roller coaster at Kings Island that opened in 2020. So, I got or I got this nano coaster um, as a gift for my birthday, March 6, 2021, by my grandparents. This is one of two nano coasters uh, that I've received in the last four months. The first one being Maverick at Cedar Point, and I got that for Christmas back in 2020. So I'm going to be telling you guys a little bit of interesting facts off of the Kings Island website directly. So ride manufacturer, b &M, coaster type, steel, classification, giga, lift slash launch coaster, chain lift hill, Duration, three minutes. Trains, three trains with eight cars. Riders are seated four across in a single row for a total of 32 riders per train. Capacity, 1,650 riders per hour. And the minimum height requirement, 54 inches. All right, so like we were saying, we're building Orion today. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox the contents and see what's inside. It looks like, for the most part, they got an image of it back here. Let's see, there you go and it's all like steel construction. So I'm interested, we got the one pair of tools that I think we need, which is the pliers to clip the pieces off of the metal that it comes off of. But let's take a look and see what's actually inside and what it looks like. This is all right, so this is actually Landon's gift. So I'm gonna let him open it up, but we'll take a look at the contents together. Go ahead, Landon. All righty, cool. All right, take it slow, don't break anything. So yeah, it looks like it's basically a, a sheet of metal and it has all the coaster pieces that you just need to, I guess, pop out or clip out. I didn't even know that was metal. Yeah, it's metal. Oh my gosh. And it has a little sign right there for the actual ride. Let's see. Uh, don't look it around. There you go. <laughs> Bam. What are these? Oh, these are the actual instructions. So it doesn't look like it has too many steps, just eight steps. And the last step, it looks like it actually does have the uh, where you get on the ride. The, the station. Yeah, the ride station. There we go. Oh, very nice, very nice. I, I believe this is the platform where we will be putting the actual track. Let's see, focus. Yeah. It's like a, probably like a vinyl or an epoxy type of base. And then some additional instructions here. From the nano coaster uh, cool. and basically it tells you to have a nail clipper which is why we have this guy instead I mean, I mean i'm sure we could find a nail clipper but i think this should work just as well but before we get into that my name's eddie and this is eddie Tayman. on this channel it's your one-stop shop for all things theme park travel and holiday related we're also doing a couple additional things you know we we keep you guessing on what the content is like today we're, we're gonna be building Orion if you're into the theme parks you're probably into coasters as well you're a coaster enthusiast so you're gonna enjoy this but if you enjoy this type of stuff make sure to browse my channel you'll probably love those those videos as well make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it currently right now we are on our mission to get past 1,000 subscribers so please if you do like the content make sure to subscribe to the channel Every subscription goes a really long way and it's truly appreciated. But without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so now we're gonna slip this out of here. It's actually very, 
very uh, fragile sheet of metal, so you got like yeah, you gotta be careful. I've already like just slightly bent it. It's very cool though. It's like this. It's like yeah, it's definitely it's definitely metal. Right. Oh, oh look, that little piece is already coming out. All right, let's take a look at the actual instructions. Well, first we need to look at this because there's there's some things that you have to do before um, right. we do it. Let's see, what's it say? Read the first one. So use nail clippers to cut all tabs connecting the track pieces, pieces. <laughs> to the metal sheet. Remove each piece completely from the sheet before beginning. So the second helpful tip, peel the paper backing off both sides of the plastic base pieces. It assemble model with the edge lines facing up. Okay. And, and, and the last helpful tip, free bend the track pieces into the general shape of the outline, out, out, layout. Yeah. <laughs> this will make it easier to put the tabs into the slots. All right, perfect. Let's do some of that. All right, here we go. I'm actually a little bit nervous about this, but we got to unclip all the track. You want to try to unclip the first piece? Mm, yes, I um, don't know how I'm going to do that. I think, I think, I don't even know if you really need that. Some of this stuff. <laughs> FYI, for anybody who intends to buy one of these nano coasters, removing these pieces is very time consuming and takes a lot of patience with this little thing because it doesn't just snap off. It you have to be very careful because it's extremely flexible, so you don't want to break it. And it's metal. Yeah, you it want, hurts. You want to use precision, not brute, brute strength. <laughs>
right, so anybody looking at getting one of these, I have to tell you, patience is key. Mm -hmm. These little things bend very easy and are difficult to keep together. Let me see. But we did get it all together. There's two pieces. Two pieces required to finalize everything. And Landon is going to go ahead and put them on. Also, be careful because they're pretty sharp. My nail and like fingers got all busted up in the process. What, what, what parts do we have, Landon? So we have the station. Too close. Pull it back a little bit. So we got the station, and then lastly we have the Orion sign. Bam! It's not Orion without the sign. <laughs> Alright, I believe the station yeah. goes right there. Okay. The station goes right here. I'll hold it for you. See the holes? Be careful, push it down for And then the holes. Boom. There you go. Okay. And it's in. And uh, on the back, you just have to pull. Okay. Just bend all the tabs on the bottom to secure the piece. And last but not least, we got the Orion sign. Bam. And then it's in. Uh oh, this is this part right here. And she's secure. Okay. Bam. This is actually a really cool piece to have on your desk. <laughs> Alrighty. So all in all, guys, mission accomplished. This is actually a pretty cool little project to do. And once again, a really cool little display that you could have on a mantle or in your room. And as you can see, Orion. Bam. Giga Coaster. What do you think? I loved it. It's it's like now it's like I'm gonna know um how everything is like if I end up going to Kings Island in the future. Yeah. Which I'll probably say will be when I'm about eighteen. <laughs> Who knows when you'll be going? But hopefully sooner than later. I, I did really enjoy making it. I will say a couple tips is maybe gloves may be a good idea. Definitely. Or sanding down the little pieces it could get very sharp when you're pushing things down mm -hmm. so that's why I, a lot of the pieces i did myself to make sure landon didn't hurt himself uh but all in all a very cool little project that we did together now that is all for today's video if you enjoyed this content make sure to what like subscribe and comment the video <laughs> future youtuber here i appreciate it landon yeah make sure to to like the video if you enjoyed it Subscribe to the channel to show your support. We are currently on our mission to get past 1,000 subscribers, so every bit of support goes a long way, and we do appreciate it greatly. But all that being said, I will see you guys on the next video, but don't forget to ask yourself, have you been at Detained?